Hello everybody, it's Terry Marsden back again. Just going to give you a quick tutorial how to use the new Vocoder V by Arturia and the new uh, voice input so you understand how to use that in Cubase 11. It's quite straightforward and all you need to do is get yourself a instrument track of the Vocoder V set as I have here and then once this is open you need to go to the top of the window the GUI bar and click on this icon here which is the sidechain icon and it will turn orange and then next you will need to go into the little cog wheel and um, if you've used Cubase before you should know this how to do this uh, um, what you need to do is just then press add side to side chain and your microphone channel should be in the list below I've already added so you can hear me um, so the other thing I like to do is also um, pre-fade listen so if the pre-fade listen the reason I do this is so that I can turn the master fade down on the microphone just like this so you can't hear me um, and the input will still go into the vocoder V um, so I'll give you a quick demonstration I've got it set up as um, to use a keyboard but you can also in the advanced settings which I'll show you in a minute how um, just use the pitch control um, pitch correction tool in the advanced section so let me just quickly show you this and turn it So you get the idea that what you can do there. Also, why I remember, also make sure you've got it on voice input. Um, it won't work with sample inputs. If you go over to sample, you will need to go into the advanced section and add some samples of whatever you wish to put in there um, to uh, modulate the vocoder V. So I'll just quickly show you a audio track as well. Um, what you can do. So same thing. I've got an a synth loop here, let's play this. to add a side chain the simp and then pre-fade listen it to get some kind of rhythm out of it and then also uh, at this point I think I'll um, go to advanced settings and put on the pitch tracker So you can do quite some mad stuff with this, right? Um, so as you can see, you can do some quite varied rhythms and sounds with the Vakoda V. Um, I haven't even touched the surface of what it can do. But if you enjoyed the video, it was a bit messy, but 
Um, I just wanted to quickly show you how to do the side chain in Cubase, just in case you didn't know. Um, any questions, leave a comment and subscribe if you wish. Um, and hopefully I'll make another few videos and I will see you soon. Thank you very much.